It is a very pleasant day in Toyland, and over at the police station, Noddy is visiting Mr. Plod. Wow! These are all relatives of yours, Mr. Plod? Yes, Noddy. The Toyland newspaper put their pictures on the front to show what great police they are. There's Uncle Ed, Aunt Edna, Cousin Ted, Brother Ned, and Bob. Where's your photograph, Mr. Plod? Oh, I would have to solve a very big crime to get my picture in the newspaper. You could do that, Mr. Plod. You're a great policeman. Maybe, but big crimes never happen in Toy Town. All we have are little crimes, like littering and making noise. <laughs> I suppose if I want to get my picture in the newspaper, I'll have to move to a town with bigger crimes. Now run along, Noddy. I have important police work to do. Oh no! It sounds like Mr. Plod wants to move to another town to solve a big crime. But we need him here. I'd better make sure he wants to stay in Toy Town. I've got it, Car. Mr. Plod will stay if he has a big crime to solve. One with lots of clues. So we'll pretend someone has stolen you. That's a very big crime. It's the only way to keep Mr. Plod in Toy Town. Muddy footprints are great clues. Mr. Plod will think my car was stolen by someone with muddy feet. And by someone who was eating a Googleberry cookie and left a lot of crumbs. We are making great clues for Mr. Plod, aren't we, Car? Burp, burp. I'll leave a trail of crumbs so Mr. Plod will follow the clues right to my car. He'll find the clue and follow through Who always makes the truth appear? Mr. Plot Another clue will make it too Then everyone in town will cheer Mr. Plot Mmm, Googleberry cookie clues You hide here, Car I'll tell Mr. Plod you're missing and he'll follow the clues to find you here. He'll think he solved a big crime and he won't have to leave Toy Town. Shh. <laughs> well, well, well. Look what we found. It's Noddy's car, Gobbo. I wonder why I left it here. It doesn't matter why, Sly, cos we're going to steal it. We are? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are we bad? You've got to help me find my car, Mr Plod. Someone took it. Car stealing, eh? Very interesting, Noddy. That's a very big crime, isn't it, Mr Plod? It certainly is, Noddy. Aha. Uh -huh. A clue. Muddy footprints. Mm. <laughs> and Googleberry cookie crumbs. Someone wearing muddy shoes and eating a cookie was here and stole your car. I'll bet those cookie crumbs will lead me right to your car, Noddy. Wait here. I'm going to find someone eating cookies and wearing muddy shoes. Mm -hmm. That's great. Bye. Boy, won't Mr. Plod be surprised. 
I just told the newspaper how he solved a big crime. Wait till he sees his picture on the front. Noddy, I'm sorry to say I didn't find your car, but I did catch the thief. You did? What thief? Big ears. But I didn't do it. No, this isn't right at all. I followed the trail of crumbs to some bushes, but your car was gone. Gone? But luckily, I happened to spot this car thief nearby. Big Ears couldn't have stolen my car. I agree with Noddy. Sorry, all the clues match. Big Ears was strolling along, eating a Googleberry cookie, just like the crumb trail. And his muddy feet match the footprints I found at your house. But my car wasn't really stolen, Mr. Plod. I'm the one who left those clues. I don't believe you, Noddy. All the clues tell me that Big Ears stole your car, and that's that. But... Now run along, Noddy. The case of the cookie car thief is closed. Oh. Oh. Ah, this is a life, Sly. No more walking, no more carrying. Car travel is the only way to go. <laughs> Tut, my good car. None of that. We stole you, and you belong to us now. Thanks for letting me drive, Gobbo. Where should I go next? <sighs> I don't care, as long as you do it gently. All this riding's made me tired out. <sighs> I'm going to snooze. <laughs> I know. I'll drive through town and show off our new car. Oh, how am I going to get Big Ears out of jail? And what happened to my little car? Car? <gasps> what is it now, Nutty? Look! Hello, Mr. Plug! Hello, Noddy! Uh, Stop in the name of Lord! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what? Uh, he stole the car, not me. I was asleep the whole time. So why did you cause all this trouble by saying that your car had been stolen, Noddy? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to move to a town where there are bigger crimes. I made up the whole story so you would stay. <laughs> I would never leave Toy Town, even if it is a quiet place. I love it here. One of the reasons Toy Town is so nice is because Mr. Plod is a good policeman, even if sometimes he jumps to the wrong answer. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello. It's the newspaper. Yes, the missing car was found, but not because of me. Oh, I don't deserve to be on the cover of your newspaper. Why did you tell them that? You did catch the real thieves. You could still be on the cover. No, Noddy. I had to be honest. Hmm. Mr. Plod, the new Toyland newspaper just came out, and your picture is on the cover. Still making up stories, Noddy. I thought you had learned your lesson. Really, Mr. Plod? Look! Toyland's most honest policeman! <laughs> And that's the truth. <laughs>